Hey, good Thursday morning to everybody. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. We've got to talk about the weekend. Even though we're going to see really warm temperatures between now and Saturday, there's still this pattern on Sunday worth keeping an eye on. Now, there's been a lot of internet rumors and buzz about it, but it looks very similar to the setup last week where you had one or two deterministic models kind of gung-ho, but the other models and the ensembles in particular aren't really all on board with this. So this says a lot more of fail or bustability than anything else. And I'll show you why, because it is really kind of marginal setup for snow in the Carolinas. Now, as we go through the weekend, um, we'll get closer to the weekend. We have a couple dry cold fronts. This front starts to move through on Saturday. As it pushes off to the east, low pressure is going to develop off the southeast coast, but a little uh, upper level system on the back side of the surface low tries to develop. So this is what we're talking about. Uh, the low itself, the surface low is here, but this is kind of questionable here. Um, whether this can happen. And if it does, it's a question of is it going to be cold enough to be all snow or is there going to be rain mixed in? I do think there's some potential north of Interstate 40, but that's it. <laughs> that's all. That's the chance right there. It does not look like a whole lot. And when you start looking at some of the other models, there's a lot of indication that it's not a really high chance. So let's look at the European ensembles. Let's look at the chance of getting one inch um, through Tuesday morning. You can see most of the Piedmont is in the 2 to 10% chance. That's really low. Um, much higher chances in the mountains and foothills. Um, if we go to the GFS, it's a little more bullish, but even here you're only looking at 30 to 45% in a few spots across the Piedmont in a very narrow area. And good luck trying to time out something that narrow so far out. If you want to look at individual members, which I always do, this is kind of a, a fun exercise here. We can look at the um, you know 1 through uh, 25 runs here we'll go through tuesday morning notice um zero 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 a little bit zero 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 there's a lot more members that have nothing and even the ones that have something it's pretty minuscule we look at 26 through 50 again this these aren't overwhelmingly convincing you know parameters here is there a chance i certainly think there is but i think it's going to be a very small chance an accumulation of snow is looking very unlikely unless this becomes a really heavy band or some kind of little deformation zone which sets up. But you kind of get the idea. I don't think this will make it all the way to Charlotte. I think the probabilities of something falling maybe briefly on Sunday morning, and again, it would be briefly and early on Sunday morning, is going to be right there. So let's look at the WPC outlook for its idea of where there could be some accumulating snows. So this will be looking out through about, you know, about 7 a.m., um, yeah, about 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. You kind of get the idea. Um, maybe a trace in this area in gray, and it's along Interstate 40 north. The best chances are going to be in the North Carolina mountains. And I think I kind of agree with this. I think if we're going to see a few snowflakes on Sunday morning, it's going to be in these areas just north um, of from about Hickory to Morganton to Lenore to Statesville over to Greensboro. But again, not expecting a huge impact. Temperatures on Sunday will warm back up into the 40s. While not super warm, it'll be way well above freezing. And this will be kind of a, a brief rain-snow mix with temperatures maybe hovering just above the freezing mark. So not expecting any major road issues or travel issues because the roads will be mainly wet. Remember, we're going to have three days straight in the 60s and even mid and upper 60s. So anything falling is going to melt pretty quickly. Even if it falls heavy and accumulates on the grass, I think most road surfaces are going to be fine. We'll keep an eye on this, but right now, the overall chance of some snowflakes on Sunday remain low. The highest probabilities are going to be these areas in gray. The mountains near the Tennessee line, probably your best bet to see some snow early on Super Bowl Sunday. And then areas east, this would be just kind of one of those things like, hey, it's snowing. And then by the time you get some video or pictures, it's going to be gone. Of course, I'll keep you updated through the next couple of days as we watch this system. Uh, maybe the last gasp, who knows? We've got a long ways to go. Got to get to the middle of March before you completely write off winter weather around here because late February, early March is the snowiest time statistically here in the Carolinas.